Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Barbells are a universal piece of equipment and an excellent way to get fast results due to the range of motion, allowing for precise targeting of muscles and control over the weight being lifted. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. With lift, you'll learn essential barbell exercises designed to build strength and muscle whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll also explore proper form and technique that will keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. As per all workout series on this channel, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 to 24, on the other hand, are available to channel members, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now get ready to feel the burn and let's get fit together with lift. Today's workout will focus on your chest, triceps and obliques using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. These muscles play a critical role in maintaining good posture, providing stability and balance and overall strength. Now let's get started. This is a traditional barbell bench press. You can see we've gone nice and wide with our hands. We're dropping those elbows down nice and wide as well and making sure that it's vertical movement on the barbell with ample control, particularly on the eccentric component of the exercise on the way down. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat. You can always elevate your feet to flatten your back if you find that you're arching.
This is an isometric wide chest press. Let's grab that barbell and go into the low position of a chest press. Let's just keep that barbell a couple of inches away from your chest. Make sure the elbows are nice and wide and let's hold that position. Keep your lower back pinned against your bench or against the floor if you're not using a bench today. Keep your neck nicely rested. So just look up at the ceiling and let's try and remain static throughout the whole set. This is a barbell push-up. It's much trickier than it looks because you have to balance the barbell underneath you. So this is going to take really good core strength. You can see we're starting with wide arms and making sure our elbows are nice and wide as well so we get maximum engagement of the chest. Keep your tailbone marginally tucked in. And if you have trouble with this exercise, do it on your knees the way Steph's doing it. Don't give me short reps. Let's go full range.
This is a reverse grip parallel arm chest press. So you can see we're starting with vertical arms, nice and parallel. Exercise ample control, bringing that barbell back down to your chest. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat and you're just looking up with your neck nicely rested. Make sure your lower back is pinned against the floor. You can always lift your feet and place them on the bench for elevation and this will help keep your spine nice and flat. This is a chest press, but we're adding an abs crunch at the end of it. The chest press doesn't need to be particularly heavy because I want to really emphasize on the abs crunch in this exercise. Make sure your lower back remains grounded. It's your shoulder blades and your head that are lifting up and it's a rolling motion so that we're getting really good engagement, particularly in your upper abs. Press up as though you're trying to touch the ceiling with your barbell and release and return with nice, slow, steady movement.
This one's a little bit tricky. We're combining an abs tuck with a chest press and we're making sure that we're doing it simultaneously. So as you push up into the press, extend out into that straight leg position. And as you're releasing, tuck your knees back into your chest as well. Now you can see we're lifting our head and shoulder blades as we press. So this is gonna get that upper ab engagement as well. It's a good compound versatile exercise because you're using multiple muscles and multiple joints to execute the movement. This exercise is a combination of a close grip press and a skull crusher. So you can see we're alternating and moving from one straight to the other. So when you press, keep your elbows tucked in by your side and make sure you're pushing up nice and vertical. Then keep your elbows still in position and just go for that 90 degree rotation and get the barbell to your forehead. For both exercises, you've got to make sure you've got your lower back pinned against the bench and you've got ample control. Slow, steady technique is the key. So let's watch for that.
This exercise is a triceps dip. You can see we're using our bench and we're staying nice and close to it. The mistake people make here is they tend to push too far forward with their hips and that becomes a rotator cuff problem. So let's try to avoid that. If you need to, you can push off your feet a little bit and get a little bit of assistance from that squat. So this will help you get through the whole set. Make sure your elbows are tucked in behind you and try to keep your torso nice and flat. So no hunching of your back. This exercise is around the world. So it's a shoulders exercise and a core exercise in one. You can see we're starting facing either the left or the right, and then we're extending the barbell all the way up with soft straight elbows, going right over the top of us and moving towards the opposite direction. There should be no additional movement of the torso. Just focus on that rotation at the shoulders.
This is a left oblique tilt from a standing position. This is one of the only exercises where you've got your knees hard straight and we're tilting over to the weighted side only. So once you get to that upright position, you can stop and you can start your next repetition. Make sure that your toes are pointing forward and make sure your legs are nice and wide for this one. Try to keep your neck aligned with the rest of your body. All right, same obliques tilt. This time we're doing it on the right side. So let's go through the form guide. Make sure your knees are hard straight for this exercise. Make sure your toes are parallel and make sure your feet are nice and wide. Make sure you're going to the side and you're avoiding pushing backwards because this could be a lower back problem if you're doing it wrong. Get maximum range of motion, but tilt towards the weighted side only.
This is a barbell weighted side knee drop. This is a great exercise for your abs, intercostals, and your stabilizers in your core. Hold on to the barbell. Now you can see two different variations. So I've got my upper abs engaged by lifting the barbell and lifting my head as well. Steph's resting her head on the floor. So all she's actually doing is focusing on the twisting motion. I want you guys to do the one you're comfortable with. All right, well done for completing today's lift home barbell workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed the workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. And of course, we look forward to bringing you another Lift Home Barbell workout shortly. You guys take care of yourselves and each other.